Did you know that one of the most common complications during pregnancy is something many people might not even have heard of before? It's called preeclampsia, and it can have significant impacts on both the mother and the unborn fetus. Preeclampsia is a genetic condition that occurs only during pregnancy and the postpartum period, affecting both the mother and the infant. It typically appears after the 20th week of pregnancy and is characterized by high blood pressure and often a significant amount of protein in the urine or the new development of decreased blood platelets, trouble with the kidneys or liver, fluid in the lungs, or signs of brain trouble such as seizures and or visual disturbances and severe headaches. The exact causes of preeclampsia remain somewhat mysterious but involve a variety of factors, including blood vessel problems, immune system issues, and genetics. While it can affect anyone who is pregnant, certain factors increase the risk. Let's take a closer look at them. Existing health conditions, such as chronic high blood pressure, kidney disease, lupus, autoimmune disorders, or diabetes. Preeclampsia in a previous pregnancy, family history of preeclampsia, a cohort study involving 22,768 elder daughters and 2,959 younger daughters revealed a link between a mother's preeclampsia and her daughter's vulnerability to it. Mothers having preeclampsia during the first pregnancy with an elder daughter increased the elder daughter's risk of developing it in her own first pregnancy by 1.7 times. This risk continues into the second pregnancy. Symptoms of preeclampsia can be subtle and may seem like normal pregnancy issues at first. They include persistent headaches, sudden weight gain, changes in vision, and swelling of the hands and feet. However, unlike typical pregnancy symptoms, these are persistent and often worsen over time. The risk factors for developing preeclampsia are diverse. These include having a history of high blood pressure, being pregnant with more than one baby, a history of preeclampsia, chronic kidney disease and certain autoimmune disorders. First-time mothers and women over the age of 40 or under the age of 20 also face higher risks. The implications of preeclampsia are serious. It can prevent the placenta from getting enough blood, which can lead to a smaller than expected baby and other complications. In severe cases, it can be life-threatening for both the mother and the baby. Let's look at the impacts of this condition in more detail. 1. Fetal growth restriction. Preeclampsia impacts the blood flow to the placenta, potentially causing slow fetal growth, known as fetal growth restriction. 2. Preterm birth. Preeclampsia increases the chances of delivering before 37 weeks, raising risks for the baby, such as breathing issues, feeding difficulties, and developmental delays. 3. Placental abruption. The risk of placental abruption where the placenta separates early, is higher with preeclampsia. Severe cases can lead to dangerous bleeding for both mother and baby. 4. HELP syndrome, an extreme form of preeclampsia known as HELP syndrome, can affect multiple organs, posing life-threatening risks to both mother and baby. Symptoms include nausea, pain and a feeling of illness. 5. Eclampsia. Eclampsia involves seizures or coma and is a serious medical emergency. Warning signs like severe headaches and vision problems may occur, but sometimes they happen without any prior symptoms. 6. Organ damage. Preeclampsia significantly affects several critical organs. It can cause the kidneys to function less efficiently, potentially leading to kidney failure. The liver can also be severely affected, manifesting as elevated liver enzymes and pain, which are signs of liver distress. 9. Neurological contractions such as stroke or severe headaches due to brain swelling may occur, emphasizing the need for early detection and management to prevent these serious complications. 10. Cardiovascular disease. Having preeclampsia could increase the risk of future heart and cardiovascular issues, especially if it occurs more than once or results in preterm delivery. Furthermore, evidencing the serious risks associated with the condition and the urgent need to address it in expectant mothers. Management and prevention of preeclampsia involve regular prenatal care, where blood pressure and urine protein levels can be monitored closely. For those at high risk, doctors might recommend low-dose aspirin and calcium supplements. Managing underlying conditions, maintaining a healthy diet and regular exercise can also help reduce risks. In summary, 
Preeclampsia is a complex condition marked by high blood pressure and protein in the urine during pregnancy. It poses significant risks to both mother and fetus, making awareness and early management crucial. By understanding the symptoms and risk factors, expecting mothers can seek timely medical care to manage this condition effectively.